Hi everyone, it's James Yoshizawa here. I just want to talk about the drum book that I wrote that I have available on my website in PDF form called Drum Method for the Young Beginner. Uh, my website's down here, jamesyoshizawa.com. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is I wanted to walk you guys through how this book works so that you can decide if it's a good fit for what you are looking for with your drum students. I wrote this book back in 2014. Up until then, I had only taught students high school aged and up. And then suddenly I got a lot of younger students, some as young as five and six years old. And I quickly realized that the existing method books were not very well paced for this young beginner age group. Um, so I started writing this book. I never intended to use it outside of my own private studio, uh, but some friends had asked about it and they ended up using it as well and they had a lot of success with it, so I wanted to make it available for everyone. The age group that this is intended for is, I would say, about six to 10 years old. Um, it is a drum set and snare drum book, so I would recommend that they have a drum set to really make use of all the lessons. And it's meant to be used in conjunction with private lessons. It is not a teach yourself to play method because there's no video or audio examples of anything. Okay, so, so far, if that sounds like it would be a good fit for your private studio, Go ahead and keep watching and I'll walk you through the book a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to put up some of the pages of this book up on the screen and I'll just walk you through how this uh, method is paced. It's about 63 pages of lesson material. The very first lesson, it starts with basic reading with quarter notes and quarter note rests. And um, the reason why I picked that is because everything just falls on a beat and the student only has to worry about two pieces of information. So the first lesson, as you can see, they just say hit hit, 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 whenever they see quarter notes, they'll say rest, 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 whenever they see rests. So um, at first it doesn't even have to be in time, you can just point along and they are just developing the hand-eye coordination to know I play the drum when I see a note, I don't play the drum when I see a rest. Then the next page is the same exact material, but instead of saying hit, 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 rest, 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 they will count numbers, one, two, three, four, while still playing or not playing in the appropriate places. And then the next page is the same exact material, but now we're adding stickings. So it's right, left, right, left, or whatever it happens to be. So now they have to um, negotiate strokes between the different hands while counting, while keeping track of notes and rests. There's about three pages of that. Um, then I have these uh, pages that come up every now and then in the book with each new lesson where you compose your own music using the stuff that you've learned so far. So for this particular one, they will use quarter notes, quarter note rests in whatever order they want. So they get practice writing it. I've had a lot of students who have taken lessons, they can read music, and they've never once tried to write notes. So this is a way to just get them to write some stuff. Some really take pride in the compositional process and some will just put random notes down, uh, but it's at least getting them to write this stuff. Then it touches on half notes and whole notes a little bit. Then the next few pages are drum set reading using quarter notes. So now they're having to use the bass drum, snare drum, and hi-hat. And we've got a few pages of that. We have a composition page involving that stuff. Then it's an introduction to eighth notes, and there's a few pages of eighth note reading. Then a composition exercise using eighth notes. Then we get to buzz strokes. So now they're negotiating the two, two different touches. So um, getting multiple bounces and letting the stick rebound off the drum head. Then it touches a little bit on dynamics. Then we get to our first etude. There's a few of these etudes throughout the book. Um, so this uses everything they've learned so far. It uses quarter notes, quarter note rests, dynamics, buzz strokes, eighth notes. Um, this could even be used as a short, simple recital piece. Okay, then we have Eighth note grooves on the drum set where the right hand is playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. We have eighth note fills. Um, then we have eighth note rests. Then there's a page with double strokes. Then we have another etude that involves double strokes and crashes and buzz strokes, eighth note rest, dynamics. Another simple recital piece they could do. Then we start getting into 16th notes. And it's the same basic process, but now just adding layers of complexity. And there's a handful of pages of that where it's mixing 16th notes and 8th notes and quarter notes. Then we apply buzz strokes to 16th notes. Then using 16th notes as fills down the drum set. So it's incorporating the 8th note grooves with 16th note fills. Then a composition exercise. Then it gets to some really simple flam rudiments. And we get to another etude where it's using flams, uh, fills down the drums, crashes, buzzes, 16th notes. 
Uh, then we get to accent reading. Um, that's in a really simple, non-threatening format, which is quarter notes so that it's not intimidating for the student. Uh, then we get to one E and two E and and one and a two and a, so mixtures of eighth notes and sixteenth notes. It has some more etudes, has a paradiddle study. It has some flam rudiments. It has some four bar phrases of rock grooves with fills at the end. Um, has a composition exercise where you write your own fill in the fourth measure. Some more dynamic stuff. Then it has 6-8 reading. Then some 6-8 grooves. Then 16th notes on the hi-hat using two hands playing alternating strokes. And then a final etude. So that's how the book goes. If you have any questions, please DM me. Or on my website, there's a contact page. Feel free to reach out and ask questions if you have any. Okay, thank you. Take care, everyone. Bye.